because it's a little bit tilted. But I don't know if I will change it. I think we can live with it because to change it, we might flip it out of the gimbal. So just turn your head a little bit to the other side to get it straight. Good morning everybody, Sabat Shalom here. There's a marvelous piece of advice I think that most parents know very well and most grandparents know as well, even more. that we need to give people time. Give them time. The changes in attitude take time. don't change overnight. There's a beautiful word in the gospel reading today. Don't cut it down. Give it another year. The beautiful work of mentorship with people who have come through very difficult chapters in their lives, who have gotten in with the wrong crowd, It only rang six. Wow, it only rang six. So it should be seven. Well, actually the clock's changed here. So the sun rises at the same time anyway. So now we have an eight hour difference to New York instead of a seven hour difference until the Americans move their clock for winter time. Give them another hour <laughs> or give them another year. Maybe even it will take longer for certain things to heal, certain rifts, certain divisions. We are often in a rush to determine the pace of things. But we, we're not in charge of giving the gifts, the ultimate gifts, the big gifts. There's a whole mysterious process at work in gifts. That's an important word in the first reading. And even if the gifts come later or earlier, they are still gifts coming from a very high place and landing in us, in our hearts from on high. All good gifts comes from the, come from the Heavenly Father. We can't force gifts because then there wouldn't be gifts. The gift of life, the gift of healing, especially the gift of healing relationships and how well parents know that. The effort a mom will make to help siblings reconcile. And her gifts help the process but it also, each child's temperament is different. And so mom knows that one child will be released from their anger faster. 
and others will hold on to it for longer. And also to know the gifts of each people, each culture. There's a place for justice and retribution, but there's also a great need in humanity for time. And when the rifts are deep and long and historical, a lot of work has to be done. A lot of patient work that's very positive and hope-filled. We are creatures who depend a lot on hope. That's really the, the point, hope, hope. Because the gardener says to the, to the owner of the vineyard, let me have another year working with this fig tree. And actually that talk is up there on the Mount of Olives. That's where that's presented. Coming from Bethany into Jerusalem. Where's the fig tree, you know, the fig tree that doesn't have any fruit. Give it another year. Sometimes parents hold back a child for another year in that same class. Another year can help people mature a lot. Sometimes we fly off the handle and we want to to Eliminate somebody. Our heart is in turmoil. We feel so unjustly treated. And that's a culture then that also children have to learn to give time to a little sibling. Imagine the time that's given to a child. I think of the children that have some impediment, some challenge, learning challenge, but also some temperamental or a health challenge is obvious one. You have to give time for therapy after an operation. Even coals take, take time. I remember the German proverb, how long do coals last? Nine days. Three days coming. Three days really there strong and three days declining and disappearing. And then the second part of that proverb is how long do coals last? Nine days nine days with medicine and nine days without medicine. Some, I know some people that are suffering a little longer with some illness and that's hard. But also give it time, relax, do what's necessary, have the medical interventions that are recommended with good advice but also give things time. There are periods when the time phases are longer and 
I'll just turn around more quickly. And maybe that's all an expression of realizing that we're not in charge. That at the end of the day, it's gift. And God gives different gifts, these gifts from on high. And the first reading is very instructive there. And I, not more because I have a, a gift that's sharper in one area than another person. And I would be very foolish to feel proud because it was a gift. And I'm not less because somebody else is a billionaire and I'm just making ends meet. That person is also called to be a saint and I'm called to be a saint. The amount of talents we have, the amount of gifts, the, the role we have in society, not everybody is president of the country. It's also a very big responsibility and a lot of tension and a lot of pressure, always in the public eye. Not everybody is there. And each one is still called to be, to reach the fullness of stature, the fullness of the human measure. And the measure that was marked out here on Calvary is amazing. The sense of time on Calvary, that pain slow down time immensely that's when we are suffering time goes more slowly we sense every microsecond fully because the pain is so horrible the measure of patience the measure of generosity the measure of reconciliation the measure of forgiveness to reach the full stature in forgiveness. That really means also bearing a lot of burden. To reach the full stature in generosity of self-giving. The human capacity of growth is amazing. It's all about growth really, these two, these two readings today. And the psalm is so beautiful because it's a Jerusalem psalm. It's a Aliyah, a going up to Jerusalem psalm, Psalm 122. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. And that's what all humanity is doing. We're all on a path to the house of the Lord, but sometimes we don't go rejoicing, we go whining, we go bickering, we go abrasively against each other, sometimes very injurious to each other. Let us go joyfully to the house of the Lord. And we've got an airplane over us today. Looks like a passenger plane. for safe travel for all those who are traveling to very pa great pastor friends who play significant roles I came yesterday to Jerusalem looking forward to meeting them two separate uh, visitors uh, with company we pray for all those traveling everywhere people we leave it like that for today Because of the time change, I'm dressed up a bit differently. I still have to get ready. <laughs> God bless you. See you later, alligators. The sun didn't change the time of the rising, though. That's why we were able to make it together this morning again. God bless you. See you later, alligators.